Real Frozen Flying Fish, The Irresistible Bait by Giant Bluefin. Problem is, they're 30 bucks each. Plastic Flying Fish are 200 bucks. Today, I'm gonna give some frugal tips on how I utilize both. Hustle and fish, let's go. I always find the fish, always. Let me start by saying my go-to is always the frozen flying fish. Why? Because they work, plain and simple. But you do have to have them rigged correctly, especially if you want them to last. Now, this is a plastic flying fish. I'm gonna use it for example. But if this was a frozen flying fish, I used to take my Edo Super Mutu owner hook directly through the head, right above the bone. And the hook would hang here, and I would put the stinger back here. Problem was, after about an hour or so, this meat would give and your 30 bucks would be down the drain. So then, just trying to save a dollar or two, really save $30, I started to do all my rigging without actually putting the hook in the meat. I figured out a way to get rubber bands around the frozen flying fish to hold my first hook. And it was never a problem putting the stinger in the meat because all the weight really hangs from that first hook. Here's the important thing in my experience of rigging frozen flying fish. A perfectly rigged flying fish, we'll call it a 10 because it's a perfect 10. It has no rips in the wings. It hangs perfectly side to side level, kind of like this. When you're up on the kite, it replicates a real flying fish. Now, I have tested my luck to see how perfect does the frozen flying fish have to be. The main thing when rigging frozen flying fish is do they hang level, okay? I've been around some hungry monster bluefin and had flying fish kind of looking like this. You know, not hanging right. They won't eat it. I don't care how hungry they are, how many they are, meters blowing up. They will not eat, in my experience, something that doesn't look like this, kind of just in the water. The lowest I'll go on my rating on a fish is a five. I mentioned a perfect 10. A perfect 10 almost looks like this. Just hangs perfect. Okay? A five still hangs perfect, but does not look perfect. It has some broken wings, looks a little thought out to the max, little beat up, but it still imitates a flying fish on the water. That's the lowest I'll go as a five and have success. Now, for the plastic flying fish. Real quick, we got a contest here today for anyone who could guess the weight of this bluefin tuna right here. Leave your answers in the comments. If you guess correctly or to the one who gets the closest, you'll be winning some free hustle and fish gear courtesy of a core offshore. Also, please like and subscribe to the channel because this year, 2022, we're going in and we're filming everything. The plastic flying fish. I'm starting to love these things more and more. Let me give you the first reason why I love the plastic flying fish. They are my go-to when I am not ready, meaning I'm not TTG. For some reason or another, I don't have a frozen flying fish ready. We got fish crashing, fish metering, and I don't got a frozen flying fish ready to go. These will deploy at will. Send them out. So there's been several times that we just been in bad situations. We had three frozen flyers ready to go. We thought we were doing good. We get three baits that all get whacked with no bluefin tuna actually committing to it. And here I am trying to rig a frozen flying fish 
when the meter is lit up and big tuna are crashing, now we have these bad boys to send at will. What I also like about these plastic flying fish, you can cover a lot of ground until you find that school and these will get hammered. Me, myself, I like them to hang just like that in the water. I like maybe about a 30 degree angle on them. I don't like them like this, but everyone's different. You see how we added this rubber band right here? This rubber band was, if it wasn't there, this would probably be hanging like this. But I added this rubber band just to, it's, it's what I like. And everyone's different, but she sure does look sexy to me. Hustle and fish. Let's go. I always find the fish. Always.